Hello students in 9th max chapter 3 algebra today we learn division algorithm for polynomials first we see division of polynomials consider two numbers 13 and 5 here 13 is divided by 5 here what is the quotient and remainder yes we have to divide 13 by 5 means here 2 5s are 10 then remainder is 3 so here quotient is 2 and the remainder is 3 so we have to write 13 is equal to 5 into 2 plus 3 so 13 is equal to 5 into 2 plus 3 this is nothing but divide and is equal to divisor that is 5 divisor into quotient plus remainder now let us see division algorithm for polynomials let p of x and g of x be two polynomials such that degree of p of x greater than or equal to degree of g of x and g of x not equal to 0 then there exists unique polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x here p of x is divided and g of x is the divisor and q of x is the quotient and r of x is the remainder okay that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder now we move on to example sum example 3.32 divide x cube minus 4x square plus 6x by x here x not equal to 0 now let's see that x cube minus 4x square plus 6x the whole term divided by x we have to write like that x cube by x minus 4x square by x plus 6x by x here we have to use power rule so here x power 3 here x power 1 so x power 3 minus 1 that is x square minus here 4 x square divided by x that is 4x here x x cancel plus x so now we get the answer x square minus 4x plus 6 next we move on to example 3.33 find the quotient and remainder when 5x square minus 7x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 here which one is dividend yes 5x square minus 7x plus 2 and the divisor is x minus 1 now we have to use that division method so here we have to write 5x square minus 7x plus 2 here x minus 1 here we have to use that rough column see that first step here we have to take the first term of dividend it is 5x square divided by the first term of divisor 
x. So 5x square divided by x. We have to simplify means for 5x. So we we have to write this term in this quotient here 5x. Then see the second step. We have to multiply 5x into x minus 1. That is the divisor. Now we have to multiply 5x into x. 5x into x, 5x square. Then plus 5x into minus 1. That is minus 5x. Here we have to multiply the second time. So 5x square minus 5x. We have to write 5x square minus 5x. Then we have to change the sign here. Here plus sign. So we have to change minus. Here minus. So here plus. Now we have to simplify 5x square plus 5x square minus 5x square cancel. Here minus 7x. Here plus 5x. What is the answer? Minus 2x. Then we have to down the last term. Plus 2. Then see the rough column. Third step. We have to choose that minus 2x. Divided by the first term of divisor. That is x. So here x, x cancel. So what is the answer? Minus 2. So we have to write that quotient minus 2. See the last step. We have to multiply minus 2 into x minus 1. So minus 2 into x. What? Minus 2x. Minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2. Then we have to write that minus 2x plus 2. Then we change the sign. Here minus so we have to change plus. Here plus sign so we have to minus. Subtract. So here the terms are cancelled. Here plus 2 minus 2 cancels. That is 0. Now we get the quotient 5x minus 2. And the remainder is 0. So this is the answer for the sum. Now let's see the example 3.34. Find quotient and remainder when f of x is divided by g of x. Here f of x equal to 8x cube minus 6x square plus 15x minus 7. And g of x equal to 2x plus 1. So first we have to check whether the f of x is in standard form or not. You have to check the power. Here x cube, here x square, then x term, then constant term. So it is in standard form. Then we have to move on to the sum. Here you have to take out and write f of x equal to 8x cube minus 6x square plus 15x minus 7. And the divisor g of x is 2x plus 1. Now we write 8x cube minus 6x square plus 15x minus 7 divided by 2x plus 1. See the first step. 8x cube divided by 2x. First you simplify the numbers. So 4 2s are 8. Then you simplify the variable x. Here x power 3 minus 1 that is x power 2. Now we write this answer as quotient. 4x square. See the second step. 4x square multiply by 2x plus 1. First you multiply 4x square into 2x. It is 8x power 3 plus 4x square into 1. That is 4x square. So here we have to write 8x cube plus 4x square. Here we have to subtract. So subtract means we have to change the sign. Here plus sign so minus. 
here plus here also change the sign minus plus 8x cube minus 8x cube cancel then see the next term minus 6x square here minus 4x square that is minus 10x square now we move on to next term plus 15x next you see the third step in rough column what is that you have to take minus 10x square divided by 2x so first you simplify the number here minus 5 so minus 5 here x power 2 here x power 1 that is x power 2 minus 1 so x power 1 we have to write this answer as quotient so minus 5x see the next step minus 5x into 2x plus 1 now you have to multiply minus 5x into 2x that is minus 10x square then minus 5x into 1 minus 5x then we have to write here minus 10x square minus 5x now we have to subtract change the sign here here plus here also plus minus 10x square plus 10x square cancel then you move on to next term plus 15x here plus 5x what is that 20x then we move on to the next term here minus 7 see that fifth step 20x divided 2x here you have to simplify the number here 10 xx cancel so what is the answer 10 now we write this answer as quotient here plus 10 now we multiply the last step 10 into 2x plus 1 sixth step 10 into 2x plus 1 so 10 into 2 20 20 x plus 10 into 1 10 so 20 x plus 10 here we have to write 20 x plus 10 now we have to subtract here plus 20 so we have to change minus here plus 10 we have to change minus so plus 20x minus 20x cancel here minus 7 here minus 10 you have to add means minus 17 so we get answer so what is the quotient yes 4x square minus 4x square minus 5x plus 10 what is the remainder minus 17 remainder is minus 17 so this is the answer for this sum now we move on to today's homework exercise 3.7 first row letter find the quotient and remainder see the first question 4x cube plus 6x square minus 23x plus 18 divided by x plus 3 see the second sum 8y cube minus 16y square plus 16y minus 15 divided by 2y minus 1 okay students do the sums in your classwork note properly thank you